Hey McGregor, what do you think about knees to a grounded opponent? That's a knee to a grounded opponent. Call the cops. <laughs> Fucking ticket. We are not calling the cops here, but there was a rule change for the knees to a grounded opponent, but it seems like the UFC or the officials, the commissions, still struggle to implement that rule, which is a big problem. And I will tell you what the rule change is, what the problem is, and everything you need to know. Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA. <laughs> knees to a grounded opponent, you might know it from pride back in the day, where you could just knee your opponent to oblivion when he was laying on the floor. And even in one championship, you are still allowed to throw knees to a grounded opponent. In the UFC though, as soon as someone, that was at least the old rule, as soon as someone was grounded or is grounded, so that means having one hand, at least three points, it's a three point rule, so both knees, or both feet and a hand on the floor, three points need to be on the floor, then you're officially not allowed anymore to throw a knee to your opponent. And of course, if he's laying on the floor, that's more than three points, just that you, because some people might say, yeah, but what if he lays sideways and his elbow, like just if he lays on the floor, that's it. And we've seen that rule being broken. Famously, Aljamain Sterling against Piotr Jan when Piotr Jan lost his title, by kneeing Eldrin in the head, which at the end of the day killed his whole career of Jan, if we look back in retrospect. And that rule now changed a little bit in a good way, because the problem with the rule was that fighters like Aljamain used that to their advantage too much. Because you can then just be in a bad position on the floor where you can get pieced up, but you can just put one hand on the floor, or even in a clinch, you can just put one hand on the floor when, when the other guy's grabbing you against the fence and you are like you are like leaning sideways. You can just put one hand on the floor, just two fingertips or something, and they can't knee you anymore. And knees in the clinch, especially if your head is on the side, are pretty effective. And sometimes even your opponent doesn't really see it, even though the ref tells them grounded. The ref always tells, that's at least the job of the referee, to tell the fighters if the other fighter is grounded and you're not allowed to throw any knees to the head anymore. But still, in the middle of the battle and stuff, it's possible you don't hear it, whatever, and that can lead to a disqualification at the end of the day. Um, or to a point deduction or whatever, which is all of the, the things are bad. Now they changed the rule though, in a very good way. I feel at least it's a very good way. Because you can't do this anymore, like just put three fingers to the floor, or a finger to the floor and be like, I'm grounded, I'm grounded, don't hit me. No. Now, the rule is, your whole hand, of course, and the other two, two um, points, feet, knees, whatever, but normally you're not doing a handstand, so those are always on the floor. The hands, the one hand, needs to be completely on the floor and, important point, you need to have weight on it. So you can't just touch the floor with the hand and be like, I'm grounded. You need to have weight on your arm, right? That changed a lot, so you really have to do this on the floor and you can't just touch the floor and say I'm grounded, I'm grounded. That takes a lot of opportunities away from those guys who try to use it as their advantage. And it makes a lot of more interesting possibilities for the fighters who are allowed to knee the opponent in the head now. Even if he just does this, you are allowed not to knee him in the head. It's very strange though still because it's, it's, up for discussion how if he really had weight on it this and that and in the heat of the battle how much weight you have on it how you touch the floor can change in a split second and that could lead to problems honestly i think we should just make hey let's just knee him on the floor uh, as long as he's not down there with all on all fours or something but we had the perfect example that it's a problem the rule change that people are still not sure what it exactly means this weekend, or this week, sorry, on Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Because there was a fight, that got called off and the, the guy lost by disqualification, even though it was a completely legal, legal knee. I would put my hand in the fire if this was a legal knee. I had no betting money on anyone, I don't care. That was a completely legal knee. But the commission said it was illegal, which makes no sense because the official rules already has to put weight on it. The other guy 
literally was like this. Had like three, four fingers on the floor, no way whatsoever. Just touched the floor a little bit. And when the knee landed even, he was in the middle of taking his hand back. So when the knee, this is the knee, and he was like this. Like he was not even touching the floor anymore as soon as the knee landed. But maybe they, you could say, okay, they, they look at it from the moment when you attempt the knee, when you lift your leg. Okay, his hands were like this on the floor, as you, can, as you saw in the video right now. And they still said, no, he had weight on it. Like, how do you see weight on it there? And that's the problem that I'm, that I'm talking about. In my opinion, it's a clear rule. Weight on it, you can see it when someone does this. But now that the commission says, this means weight on it, we have a problem. I disapprove 100%. That kills the whole new rule set. So the question is now, was the commission wrong? Did, are we understanding it wrong? What is the new rule? It's so weird. Because officially it stated, weight on it. Full hand, weight on it. Full palm, with weight on it. So that's definitely a problem that we have to address, that the UFC has to address the commission and everything, because that's very bad for all the fighters and everything, because you are never sure now if you can throw the knee, if you cannot throw the knee, even though the rule change is intact. You just saw the best example that it might not be intact in some way. It's very weird right now, but this is just for your information, guys. I hope they will change that pretty soon. I hope we will soon have it like in one championship with the rules. It's perfect rule setting, in my opinion, for the grounded knees. And I mean, if you're allowed to elbow someone into oblivion on the floor, let him just knee him to the face as well. That's my opinion. But write your opinion in the comments, guys. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and that you don't get kneed into your face. Make sure to get your sleep in. Until the next one, bye-bye. Lots for that.